not made up worlds on Earth. Alternate history maps can be for another video, but for now we're just focusing on places that are supposed to be made up planets rather than an alternative Earth. The other note is that while I may enjoy or not enjoy some of the games, books, TV series mentioned in this video, that's not going to have anything to do with the grade. If I say, wow, this series is amazing, that's not going to give the map an automatic A. And if I hate it, that's not going to give the map an automatic F. Before we begin, though, I'd like to give a shout out to the sponsor for this week's video, Ridge. Ridge specializes in making products that carry things, from backpacks to wallets. I was given a blue aluminum wallet, which has a really cool minimalist design and a sleek look. With the metal pieces held together by this nice elastic band, I can hold it open to slip in all the cards I need. I also really like this opening where I can just thumb out a card when I need it. I can also say that unlike a typical cheap leather wallet, this won't wrinkle or discolor very easily after a few weeks. I've been enjoying this wallet, and with over 30,000 five-star reviews, I'd say others agree with me. If you want to get your own wallet, you can click the link in the description and use the discount code EMPOWER to get a 10% discount. So thanks to Ridge for the nice wallets, and thanks to Ridge for sponsoring this video. First, the fantasy world map we have is Nern, and I see Tamriel, so I'm guessing that this is Elder Scrolls. Never played the game, but at least I can recognize some of the names from it. I like the feature of the random outwardly extending lines from the Compass Rose. It's very much like an old-fashioned map from the 1600s. Always gotta appreciate sea monsters as well. The names of places sound nice and natural, and not forcibly made up. You know, people will try to make up a name and use the weirdest possible syllables to try to show how different it is, when they really don't need to. Tamriel sounds better and more like a potential fictitious land than something like Yuskavarnikon, and I can appreciate that. This map gets an A. This is the map from the Ruby World, called Remnant, apparently. I'm not really a fan of these shapes. First off, this one just looks like a dragon with its wings spread out, and another one looks like a fish. I don't like the lack of labels or the fact that the continents have natural colors, but the ocean does not. Continental balance is not good either. What does that mean? So, continents split apart and go back together thanks to tectonic plates. If the continents are just randomly placed in a way where they don't really have a natural tectonic direction they're moving, it's weird. So on Earth, you can see where they used to connect together. Knowing what Pangea looked like, we can see how they drifted to where they are now, even if other coastlines have changed a bit. When I see this map, I can't see how this dragon continent broke away from this continent and ended up here. It doesn't have to be a perfect science to be well balanced or have like a continent in every direction or something, but this is just weird. And I don't like how this area is in an Arctic zone, but this area isn't. Is north facing a different direction that I'm seeing? I don't know, because there's not a compass rose. Overall, I'm not really a fan of this one. D. The Warcraft world. I like the art style, but the continent names are just kind of lazy. Northrend, I wonder where they got that name from. Eastern Kingdoms, how specific. I would also say that this has the opposite problem of the ruby map. This time, the continents are a bit too balanced, literally having a continent in the four major cardinal directions, and it's kind of lazy, so I'll just give it a C-. Game of Thrones map. Now, from what I've heard, as I've never read the books or seen more than two episodes of the show, the canon areas that are often shown on the map is the smaller continent while the rest is speculation. So if I'm only to judge it based on Westeros and part of Easteros, then it's okay, I guess. Although it's hard to overlook that it's obviously upside down Ireland and Great Britain attached together, and I'm not the only one who's noticed this. If we include the rest of the mass, though, I actually think it makes it worse. This entire world suddenly becomes two fractured rectangles, and this giant ocean is just a wasted space, almost. I do like the colors of this map, though. So I guess if we're talking the map that most people use, it's a B-, minus. but if we're including this extra giant continent, it actually gets downgraded to a C. The Fire Emblem map. This one is another sticks out from a corner map that you see a lot in these type of fantasy worlds. Looks an awful lot like Shikoku Island from Japan from a weird angle. Also, I guess Crimea exists here too, just like in our world, and I'm guessing the creator must love ancient Persia because it has the cities of Persis and Susa. Not much else to say about it, honestly, though. C+. This map is from Wheel of Time. Honestly, I'm just at this point tired of so many of these maps being a giant blob in the upper right corner to center of the map that coincidentally has mountains at the edge of the page. 
it's just so overly done at this point. That aside though, the compass rose looks really cool, digging the colors of the map. I do wish however that the borders stood out more because at least with this picture they just blend in easily. I almost honestly thought they represented railroad tracks at first. Some of the city names are hard to make out too if they're in a darker green area on the map. The country seemed generically fantasy and wait, is that one called Tear? Tear? Oh, that's weird. I guess overall, C+. Realm of the Underlings. I wish that the sea or land stood out more because I mistook these waves for her mountains at first glance and it kind of threw me off. While this is another extended from a corner map, at least it picked the corner that's not the top right. Also, I'm not sure if some borders are left out because I see a border for the Mountain Kingdom, but not between Pharaoh and Repon. Are these countries or regions? I don't know. Maps tend to distinguish this by either having a different font or all caps versus like normal or something like that, but this doesn't really do that. And maps need to distinguish between these type of things. And since they have the all caps label, just like the Mountain Kingdom, I expect they're countries, so they would need a border, but it's hard to tell. Overall, this is kind of disappointing. D+. Plus. The Seven Cities map. Another corner map. I swear, this could be a drinking game by this point. I like the smoky blue color of the ocean, though. Labels are clear, and there's really not that much to complain about this one, truthfully. B+. Plus. Redwall. This map is drawn more like a bird's eye view of the landmass itself rather than a map, and I actually kind of like it for that. Some of the names could be more creative, like Big Inland Lake and Lake. But its aesthetic is perfect for a medieval fantasy, and it definitely makes me want to rewatch the TV series or reread the books at some point. Solid B. Middle Earth, the OG fantasy map. A lot of fantasy maps were probably inspired by this one. Zooming in to a coastal area instead of showing the whole world is a huge thing that Middle Earth started on fantasy maps. The thing is, though, there have been many maps made of Middle Earth. I honestly have a hard time grading this one. Because there are so many maps of Middle Earth, I don't know what the original one's supposed to be. And the grade can very much change based on aesthetics. The aesthetics on this one submitted are kind of eh, but on this one they look a lot better. I don't even know what the original one would have been since this map keeps getting restyled. So I guess I'll just give it a solid B, but I guess it could vary based on which map I'm looking at. The Matoran Universe from Bionicle. Now, when I was a kid, I had Bionicles, and the landmass that the Bionicles lived on was called Mata Nui, which is this tiny island up here. And when I got Bionicles, the map of Mata Nui was constantly posted, and it is one I remember quite vividly. It had the different zones for the different Toa based on the elements, and so I always liked how it had, like, you know, an ice area, a jungle area, a mountain area, and, and a volcanic area, and so on. But this zoomed out thing where it has a bunch of islands roughly corresponding to a dead deity... Uh, nah, no, I don't really like it. Mata Nui by itself would have been a B or B minus, but when it's zoomed out like this, I just don't like it as much. D minus. Warhammer. Now, according to what several people have insisted, this is the older map they had before they redid it or something. I don't know. Well, if they did remake it, that's good, because this map is a lazy rehash of Earth. I actually had to check and make sure it wasn't actually Earth, because some of these fantasy maps that were submitted where it looked like a ripoff of Earth, it turned out to actually be Earth in an earlier or futuristic time, so it doesn't really count. But in this case, it's actually supposed to be its own fantasy world. And yet, it's just Earth, but more fractured. They even have this island landmass where Japan would be, called Nippon, which is literally Japan in Japanese. That's just uncreative. Albion, totally not related to the ancient term for Britain at all. Not at all. Norska, totally unrelated to Norway. They even call the Americas the New World. Kingdoms of Ind, I wonder if that's related at all to India. I'm sorry, folks. I just, I, I, I just have to give this one an F. I don't like, I, I don't like it, sorry. And for our final fantasy map for this episode, Avatar The Last Airbender. I am a huge fan of this show because of not only the amazing characters in the story, but the details. And this map is no exception. It is stylized uniquely, but also it has a nice continental balance. Unlike the Warcraft map, while it does have a north, south, east, and west landmass, there is way more variety in size and several more additional smaller landmasses to help. I like how it shows some city walls here. The volcanic smoke is a nice feature, 
And it's a fantasy map that's so memorable that I can draw it from memory, which is usually rare for me when it comes to fantasy maps because they just sometimes look too similar. While it doesn't appear to be labeled, it actually technically is, just 